Hello guys, welcome to Sports, and I just want to make this video, I know it's late, it's 11.30, um, I know, like, a couple days ago, you know, they traded away Kevin Benjamin, the Panthers did, um, they did it, they said we got a, we got a third round draft pick and a seventh, and they said we could do it so we could get more speed on offense, because we got a lot of quick wide receivers, I think they, I think they wanted to, and Kevin Benjamin's slower. I think they're, I think they're trying to make it so like where they could like have more explosive plays since Cam Newton likes to air it out. Maybe I think that's the reason what they were looking for. But I don't know about I don't I don't kinda don't agree for I think we could have got higher draft picks. Third and the seventh. I think I think they should have declined it and if they went for it again, I think they should have tried to go for it. At least, at least, the, uh, a first, a first, I'd say, at the most, highest you can give it for it for Calvin's third, but I'd want to, I'd want a first and a second, or another player, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, Calvin's a star, um, well, let's look over the roster from the new wide receivers. Curtis Samuel, Demarion Bird, and Devin Funches, Fred Ross, Russell, Russell Shepard, Bretton Burson, Kellen Clay, and Charles Johnson. So, the people I am very interested in in that this our matchup against the Atlanta Falcons. I guess I give my predictions for that game. I ain't making my weekly predictions this week because. I already missed Thursday night football, so there ain't no point. I'm gonna make it next week. The there's just a whole bunch of I've been sick. I have bronchitis, and there's just a lot going on right now. And I just haven't felt good enough to make the video any really good videos lately. Um, this is what I kind of think the Panthers are trying to do. So, Curtis Bird and Shepard and Burson, they're all fast. Burson's a big guy. I think Shepard is too, but Curtis and Bird are smaller people. So I think what they're going to do with Funches and Burson, I think they're going to have like go make more routes like that, try to spread the defense out. Then they'll have Russell have more like like cross kind of routes, and I, have, I guess they'll have Samuel go like deep. Um. Now, for, so, since Kelvin's out of the way, some wide receiver. I think the wide receivers are really. I'm really interested to see is one Devin Funches. You know, Devin Funches has been playing good. I'm very interested to see how he does handles it because I think now, I think Devin Funches was almost as good as Kelvin, and I think now he's going to be like, probably he might be better than Kelvin Benjamin in, in like next season. Um, because he's he was playing good. He was making catches, but he he's been trying to make catches, but Cam Newton makes dumb like hard throws, like where he throws out of bounds, where there's no way he can like get his feet set. Have you seen him though? Like a lot of those throws, he'll overthrow it and he'll still catch it, but he's but he's he throws it too far out where he can't get his feet set. Um, um, so I think Devin Fudge is going to have a big year moving forward. Curtis, um, Samuel, I think, I think this opens up a thing for Curtis and especially Russell, Russell Shepard, because these are two rookies that have been not really thrown to because Kelvin Benjamin's been there. And that opens a whole new thing for them to be able to shine. And hopefully Curtis won't have the same mistakes that he's had. Hopefully now that he's getting more attention, he'll perform better. And I'm very, I'm, I'm the player I'm really interested in seeing is Demarion Bird because he he started practicing again, and remember what he did in the preseason. I know it was, was preseason, but he had two touchdowns in the first game, two. One of them he beat the corner, he threw it up deep, and he just outran the guy. The other one he got like 17 yard slant touchdown. And then this Burton Burson dude. He's been there since he's number eleven. I remember him. He's been off and on. He's decent. I mean, he ain't no like Kelvin or 
he needs to get his functions, but he'll he'll do pretty good filling in those spots. Um. Um. Now it's time for our defense. Our defense is fine. Their defense is like I don't see anything wrong with their defense. Let's see okay. Uh, Dang it. <laughs> yeah. D fit. What the heck? Why am I just taking all the way here for? That's a weird glitch. Defense rankings. So. And we're playing against Atlanta, which is our rival last year. And Julio Jones hasn't been that good. And he was he had 315 yards against a rookie, James Bradbury. And that was a young. Remember, towards the second later half of the year, he wasn't giving up all them passes that easy. Um, and this season, he last week had a tough test against Mike Evans, who did a similar thing. And... Mike Evans was on lock. He didn't get nothing. Like, he had a couple of receptions, but that was, like, where he wasn't actually, like, on, on him. Like, it was one of them, like, zones, kind of. Like, where he, like, he, like, could get, like, a curl. But Brad Bear is doing, like, a zone. Like, those. And even then, he came right up and tackled him as soon as he caught the football. So, it was only, like, a three-yard gain. I think Mike Evans only had, like, 30 yards total. And he had, like, like... Seven like little short passes. Um, I know Mike Evans broke one, but that was he had somebody else, I think. Um, or that was just like a flaw error in the um, zone. But do I see um do I see Julio Jones really doing anything against Bradbury this game? No, not really. The secondary's beast. It's looking. Really good. It's part. I think it's the best secondary I've seen in a long time. It's better than the. I think it's better than the. Um. Well, I wouldn't say better than Josh Norman secondary because Josh Norman was outstanding, but it's pretty close. I'm not gonna lie. Mike Evans and Captain Munderland with it with Wor Worley and Bradbury who both been playing really good. I think that's really helping. I like I like the mix of old older. Experience with the younger, you know, with young attributes. Carolina's fourth, fourth. Um, Denver's number one. Makes sense. Um, Cincinnati's two, Jacksonville's three. Miami's got a good defense too. I mean, it's, uh, not Miami, Atlanta does. Um. Oh, that's offense. Ain't it? What the heck? Passing. Let's see something. We'll see how the defense is. Six. So, it's only giving up 1,459 yards. That's good. Let's see how many rushing yards this defense is giving up. Because this front seven is dangerous. So I'm giving up 653 yards. 
Um, yeah, so I don't see, I really don't see, I really don't see, um, Atlanta getting a whole bunch. Atlanta had 25 points last week against New York Jets, which are like at the, towards the bottom of defenses. And they act like, like, the Atlanta fans act like they feel like a good defense. And y'all barely even beat them. Y'all won by five. Y'all let people come back, so we had to take advantage of these opportunities. So yeah, I just want to make this longer video. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out, guys.